Things are back to normal as far as our garage days are concerned. We're already well, the next one already peppers joking about someone getting turbo. squished. Yeah, not before Driven or Sunday school. Not, not before Driven or Sunday we're school. We're doing that with more time, but anyway. So. We've been there, done that on the whole, let's swap an engine with two weeks before the show or let's do this with no time before the show. Been there, done that. Well, what's, what's the issue? I mean, we've done it before and succeeded. I don't really care to do it again. I like, <laughs> I don't know. I can't quite do the all-nighters like I used to. A little bit. But yeah, today should be fairly straightforward anyway. We've got a bunch of parts here for Keith's little Fiesta yeah, ST. So the blog will have the more detailed procedures for all of these. The video is going to be a little more, bit more of an overview. We've got the front lip, paint match side skirts, stencil for painting the intercooler. It's a new big mouth snorkel, the big mouth of which is currently off for some painting. And then there's the hella horns going on and the hardware and other little bits and pieces. So car is currently going up to get some easier access for removing the bumper. A few pieces like the trim rings from the horns and that snorkel are outside with the first coat of paint drying. Over here are the headlights and some of the trim already off. And yeah, current step is just getting this off so we can install the lip and the horns and do the stencil and all the other stuff. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, the bumper would be off in five minutes. There we go. Bumper is coming loose. Five screws underneath are off. The bolts on that side oh, are off, nice. and now we're getting this side. Yes. So, you can go. Ooh. Sweet. Go. All right. Yeah. Toss this on the Oops. lawn. down. Put it on the lawn for now, and I can get some uh, soft oh. things to put it on. Good. Yep. Yeah. And since we got it upside down, we can do yeah. the uh, lip. Oh, yeah, that is a healthy hey. scratch. Holy shit. <laughs> Did you get her up? Yep. Bumper off now. It's time to get this out of the way so we can cut it for the big mouth snorkel. Yeah, why do you do that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I hate those clothes. I just do it with my hand. I just didn't like the idea of oh, that, yeah. to be honest. Okay, Mike, Sweet. a glove. Where did I put Snorkel it? slid in, one bolt in now to secure it, and then the faceplate goes on later. It's going. Front lip's going on now, so we've got the first two bolts in just to secure it. Once we got it all centered and even, those are in to hold it now, and we will carry on by drilling and bolting the other points now. So there's the five factory points in the bumper we're using. Might run a couple more, we don't know yet. And then some double-sided molding tape along the seam as well to really keep this on there. So it's starting to take shape. Look at that. That looks badass. All right, so what brand were these side skirts? These Maxton too? Maxton. Maxton, okay. And yeah, you actually had them painted body color. That's tuxedo black. That is going to look amazing once it's bolted on the car. <laughs> Get a 
general status update here while there's still some light in the sky. So both side skirts are on now, fully bolted in, fully secured. We've got some of the parts painted. Some are curing, some are ready to go. So we've got the horn bracket back on, secured via the one bolt and the little slot we cut in. Intercooler is now painted as you saw. And we're just currently hey, look at that. working we're on geniuses. the horns so we can wire them up. Diffuser fins as the finishing touch for the back now. Sweet! Gonna look good. So I'm just soldering some stuff up front and you guys are gonna be sticking these on out back in the meantime. Is it peel and stick mostly? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And they hook on the inside with the little little hook there. Yeah, that's cool. And brackets to keep them yeah. from from twisting. torquing, yeah. Sweet. Cool. I'll let you guys handle that and I'll get back to my These are all the same. So we harness here for the horns. So yeah. horns are in, painted covers are on, and now we just need to make a harness to not only adapt the factory connectors to the spades on these, but also lengthen it because it won't fit otherwise. So that is my current challenge, task I should say, in this mess of a workbench. But yeah, it's coming together. It's no rye wire harness, but that should do the job at least. It's all sealed up from the weather. Let's see what these guys are up to. And then just kind of up. I could do that. So. Okay, that's not even going to show up on video when I see the fins are going on. I'll have to shoot the whole car again in the daylight when we can actually see everything. Okay. So I could do it like this if you, you like. All right, we're getting ever closer to buttoning this one up. So horns are on, ready to be wired in. Velocitech snorkels on, intercoolers on and painted. Intercooler was actually installed previously, but we did the painting today. Keith has chosen to go with the blue accent theme for this one. And then, if I can find the shop light, I think you guys have it. We have it. You come see the fins out back here. Signs going on. There's the middle one there, and two driver side fins. It's looking pretty good. I don't even know what it is now. Like 1:30 in the morning or something. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> First mechanical garage day in two years, and we went all in on this one. So I think this is the final install now. Everything else is on. Bumpers back on. Lights are in. Everything's connected. You can see the little lip down there. The, if I grab the work light, you can see the horns and things peeking out behind there. Looks pretty cool. The cob logo is visible. We cut the vertical supports off. Tie those up a little bit later on. It's more important things to do right now. But yeah, there's the cob logo. Everything behind the grill is showing off nicely. I'll have to get some b-roll in the daytime to overlay on all this and get some better photos then too but now it's eyelids so maxed in again i assume yes yep. basically full maxed in catalog car here <laughs> pretty much so yeah i just got to clean the headlights up and Ooh. stick these down Ooh. Good. That is all that stuck really nicely good, to the headlight. Actually. Yep. Like that adds a little more aggression. Grr. <laughs> Alright, now to clean up the other side and do that one. I guess I'll point out for the video for continuity, we did actually loosen the headlight just so we could get a bit more clearance between it and the bumper because it was a bit tight for the eyelid to fit in, so now we can tighten it back down.